How dare. Okay, I'm back. So, what I've got to talk about? Okay, first things first. I did mention on my previous video that Matt had broken his hip. That happened tomorrow before a week since he did that. So, the first week was like a living hell. The second week wasn't much better. The third week things are starting to get a little bit better. And now we're in week four. We have kind of a routine. So, my shop is kind of open sometimes, not open sometimes. It just depends. Like, my life is you know, been thrown up in the air and wherever I land, I land. <laughs> so I'm coming in here every now and then. Well, actually, I'm coming in every day, but I can't spend as long here as I normally would. So, weirdly, now this is weird. Okay, about a week before we did this, I decided to not offer anything on the website that wasn't ready-made. This is the weirdest thing. So normally, like bath salts and... Uh, hair conditioner I've got the the base made and I just make to order but it does really 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 take a lot of time in between packing orders that are ready to go off the shelf if you see what I mean so for some strange reason in my head I thought I'm not doing this anymore I'm just gonna make stuff put it on the shelf and put it for sale rather than putting stuff on the website that isn't actually ready and I need to make it it just was weird how that happened because it's my orders have been going out way faster than they ever have. Um, I'm way more organised at work. <laughs> I'm selling more in the shop. And it's all just like, whilst this really bad thing has happened, there's also this really good thing happening for this business. It's, it's kind of odd. Anyway, it's just funny how things work out. So what I want to show you, we're going to move on now. We just forget about that. And, you know, I'll update you as I'm talking away each video that comes after this one. So, I think he's got a long road ahead of himself. I think if it's a hip replacement, then generally um, it takes about four weeks for a person to recover. But because this is a hip repair, it's going to be up to about six months, I think. I think the first two months, the bone is regrowing. And, you know, if there's any doctors that watch me, leave some comments in the um, description. Uh, leave some comments below and let me know any of your thoughts or anyone that's gone through this let me know how you dealt with it so I mean I'm on about a hip repair so he's had an internal hip repair so he's got like a screw that goes straight into the socket the uh, ball that goes into his socket so he's got this like yeah like a long screw and then a, a bit that goes down the side of his femur like obviously screwed into that bone so let's move on okay so today the reason for doing this video is I've got a nurture soap supplies haul and I bit the bullet and I bought myself some moulds that I've been looking at. I watch uh, Muddy Mint on um, Muddy Mint on Instagram, and I think the other girl that has them is Ashley Marie. Um, I don't know if it's soap. But I don't know. Ashley Marie. She's another soap maker on Instagram, and I keep seeing these green nurture moulds and thinking I've got the tall skinny nurture mould, but I wanted the basic five pound moulds, and I wanted five of them. So I bit the bullet and I bought them. So they're $51.99. It just came in yesterday. So the shipping was really fast because I chose the UPS option, which was incredibly expensive. It was like 200 and, 200 and something dollars shipping. But it got here within like three days. So whilst it cost a bomb, it's like this is going to save me time. It's going to save me money because I'm not going to have to buy tape to take my moulds down, the moulds that have got like the wavy bits at the side because they were just crap moulds off eBay. Um, I won't have to worry about any of that anymore because I've now got top notch moulds. So I'm going to show you what they sent. Because there's a little bag here, they sent me this little bag and they sent me two micas in these little jars which is really kind. So I've got a honey blush which is like a sort of a nice, I don't know if you can see this, you probably can't. It's a nice sort of palish beigey pink. I like that. And then I've got Brick Dust, which is a nice red, like a deep, there you go, you can maybe see in the lid, like a deep red. So that's nice. And then they sent me some stickers, Keep Calm and Soap On. And your order was packed by Carrie H. And there are some stickers somewhere. They also sent this card, like a, their card has got uh, wildflower seeds in it. So you plant the card in the ground and you'll have wildflowers. So I said to Matt, that'll be interesting to see 
how different your wildflowers are to the ones we have in the UK. I bet not that different at all. So we'll see. We'll plant that and see what comes up in the spring. So let's get on to the moulds. I'm just going to show you these quick and then we're going to do another video where I make some soap. Because I don't want this to be a really long video. I just wanted to come in and do a quick update and then we'll get to soaping, which I can't wait to do. So I've already unpacked one yesterday, so I'll show you what they are like. They are made really, really well. So I'm sure loads of you have already seen these. So this is the length. Comes with a piece of cardboard in the top, like that. Let's just take that off. Just to keep it in shape, I think. And then, I'm so excited. Look, so I don't ever have to worry again about taping these down or having kinks in my corners. They're just perfect. And in the bottom of these moulds are little holes. So your mould can't ever get stuck because you can poke them poke it out. I just think it's great. So this is the mould. You can buy these separate. You can buy these separate and you can buy these separate. But I wanted to actually, you know, normally I would buy the moulds and I would think, oh, I can make my own wooden mould, you know, to go with the silicone. But this time I thought, I'm not doing it. I always have to have second best. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not doing it. Hmm. Incidentally, this looks like a skateboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I didn't want to you know, have to go and spend money on some pine to try to make moulds to fit these when these are just perfect and I don't have to do it at all. So I am so, so happy. So I spent 250, maybe $260 on five moulds and then a further $200 odd shipping. So it was ridiculous, but over time I'm thinking how much that's gonna save me the effort of having to tape and all that kind of you know crap so I'm really really happy with these and I'm going to get to soaping so the next video will be making a soap and I might use something that Harley sent I was going to do yeah I might do the nature's garden peppermint patty I might make that one because it's so nice and it'll be a nice um simple soap to make so if I do it like a dark brown with like a nice sort of greenish center with some white and then just sort of fold it in on itself i might do that um so yeah stay tuned for the next video and i will see you spoon ta-ta what a bloody nightmare isn't it eh